I'm Marie Jose Montpetit. I'm actually a researcher at the Research Lab of Electronics at uh, MIT. And I also teach a class on social television at the Media Lab, uh, and we've done that at least for four years. Uh, I'm here today at the summit, uh, Social TV Summit, uh, which has been uh, interesting in, in many ways. Actually, one thing that I found, like, the first panel this morning was, was surprising for me in a sense that a lot of what the people were saying in terms of what they were um, seeing in terms of the, pr the promise of social television and how to, uh, it was so great and everything. It was funny because five years ago when we published one of the, well, a paper that we had done on community viewing, and then we wrote another one which was called Facebook Meets TV, um, people were, were a bit rolling their eyes, like, you know, this is, this is, this is like, yeah, research and, and stuff that people will not want to do. And it was very, very interesting to see uh, the same ideas five years later coming from the people who were sitting at the table, which are deciders, which is really good because now that they're deciders, I think that will make things happen. Um, in terms of things that I was less pleased with, I would say some of the um, ten, uh, 10 ideas that were presented, uh, I would have loved to have this like some kind of a American Idol or X Factor thing because I would have told them feedback and I think they, they need feedback. There's a lot of the stuff that was presented which I would say is it's something that we need to go beyond. It's not just twi Twitters to the TV. Uh, now the big thing about the synchronization, well, Into Now did that. Uh, what else can we do? And I think the students in our class did lots of things with virtual reality, reality, location-based uh, systems, um, actually with uh, uh, things related to crowdsourcing and everything. And I was at the Futures of Entertainment at MIT on Saturday, and a lot of these ideas were there. Uh, you will say, yes, again, this is research, but I think a lot of these things are ready for prime time, and I think a lot of my students are thinking of launching companies right now. Is that okay? In, in your role as a researcher, yep. what do you see in five years from now, you know, because I guess you look over the horizon? Yeah, I, I think there's going to be way more, there's actually need to have the content way more curated, like social curation and social um, suggestions, uh, there, there's a big need for that. Uh, also what we see is uh, the need for, uh, in a way, content protection and not in the sense of DRM, but also my own personal content protection and because of the advances in cell phones, for example, we can now do very, very uh, difficult, that you think still used to be very difficult to protect content, they're now becoming available. Um, so I would say there's that. Uh, I would say another thing is making sure that we use the wireless uh, capabilities and the 4G networks in the right way. So there's a need to revisit, I think, the networking, the thing that's below all of this. And the privacy, like there's a lot of these things um, that, uh, you know, just putting tweets on top of a show that's presented to 20 million people, that, that has, there is a privacy issue there. And the, the thing about creating viewing groups uh, in a better way and making sure that the people who are not interested by that are not, that there's, there's, a, there's a way to opt out. That if you don't want to have it, you don't, you have it. it. I don't think it's a question of is it laid back or laid forward. It's actually if you want to have both, you have it. If you don't, you don't. And if you just want to watch TV after a long day, like uh, the day I had today, leaving at five, uh, I'm not interested on the way back to Boston to get into some kind of discussion. I'm just going to watch a movie. But, and that's fine. And there's some times where I want this. So I think there's going to be also that thing. But I think a lot of the things you see here are like the beginning. And um, I would say that um, yeah, they should come to my class. Uh, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things that are going to evolve, and I think it's it's pretty actually it's it's so exciting. I I, I, I put on my Facebook yesterday that I was coming here to see the monster I had created. <laughs> Let me ask you, how can people engage with you? What channels do you prefer? Um, actually, it's interesting that I discovered Twitter over the weekend um, because I was. I, I was actually um, talking, thinking about it. I, I've, I've always been using Facebook a lot, and I think for me it was um, it was a better medium. Uh, now I found a way of combining both, which is not bad. Uh, but I would say, yeah, for the moment it's Facebook, uh, email, of course. I never talk to anyone. Actually, nobody should phone me because I don't talk on my phone. 
I, I think I'd still, yeah, I think a combination of Facebook and, um, and I started blogging a little bit. I have a Tumblr account, but I, I don't know. I think that's maybe too personal. I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a shy person, and um, that recent celebrity that I've had is, is very hard to take. So I have to get used to it. But I would say a combination of these things, and obviously not voice. What's your Twitter handle? Uh, social like TV share? MIT. Social um, TV M MIT. No, Social TV MIT. Just in one word. Uh, Very nice. But the idea Did you have to get approval for that? No. <laughs> it's academic freedom. <laughs>